Hi friends. So today we are discussing how the LED uh, controlled through Wi-Fi connection. So here uh, I've developed a small web page. So LED is controlled uh, through the web page. The web page contains two elements, two buttons. One is uh, LED on and LED off. When I click on LED on, then LED will be on. When I click on LED off button, LED will be off. So here. The Wi-Fi connection is uh, enabled through uh, Node MCU. So here I have uh, used my mobile hotspot. So the hotspot uh, is detected by Node MCU. And here we have to write an Arduino program to uh, connect uh, Wi-Fi connection. So I have used my Wi-Fi SSID and password. So here I have connected LED to D2 pin of node MCU and the negative pin I have connected to the ground pin. So nothing more here to discuss with the hardware and we'll now directly go to our programming part. So in the programming part, we'll discuss uh, uh, how the Wi-Fi is connected, how the Wi-Fi status is checked and uh, how uh, the LED is connected with uh, the buttons present in the interface. Let's go to the program. So this is our program. So initially I have entered the user ID. So here we have to enter the user ID of our Wi-Fi. And this is our password of the Wi-Fi. And the network port is 80. And the baud rate is 9,600. And node MCU D2 pin have connected with LED. So I declared it as an output port. And uh, initially it will show like connecting to Wi-Fi dot 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 and it will show the Wi-Fi status initially when there is no network. So it will just uh, show uh, the seven value. It indicates that there is no network. And uh, when Wi-Fi begin, so the Wi-Fi will get connected uh, using the login SSID and password of Wi-Fi. So my hotspot will get connected to the node MCU. And next uh, uh, here, uh, in order to check the connection, whether the connection is available or not. So here I'm checking the status. So WL underscore connected, it is uh, connected. So when the Wi-Fi is successfully connected, then it returns, the Wi-Fi status returns three, okay? So if it is three, then it will be connected to my node MCU. If it is failed, it returns four. If it is lost, it returns five. Okay, then it will display message according to that. And next, uh, when it is connected, then it will come out from the loop and it displayed that uh, Wi-Fi is connected. Okay. So finally, it will display the status, whether it is three, four, or five, or seven, whatever may be the value that will be written here. And server begin. So it will uh, tell the server to listen the clients who are all readily available to send the data. And next to local IP, it will display the IP address of the client. So here our uh, local station is uh, node MCU. So it will display the node MCU IP address. And next uh, here, uh, it will check the availability of the client, which are ready to transfer the data. Okay, so the server uh, will check the availability of the clients, which are ready to transfer the data. If no client is present, then it will return and again it will check for the client. And next, uh, when client is available, then it will start reading the values from the web page. Okay, until uh, it returns a termination character. So this is our termination character. Until it reads a termination character, it will read the value from the web page. So it will read the value uh, whenever you click on the button on the web page, that message, that message will be sent to uh, the client, okay? So that request can be displayed here. If that request is slash on, so then it will send a high to the D2 pin. That means the LED will be on. The status we are displaying with print and function LED on then we are printing one to D2 pin. That means LED will be on. If the request value, whatever the request we are receiving from the web page, that is slash off, then LED will be off. 
then we are sending zero on D2 pin. So on D2 pin, we have connected the uh, LED, isn't it? Then this is uh, the actual web page. The web page we are uh, developing with the HTML tags. So HTML uh, code is uh, started with HTML and the title is LED control and uh, the web page uh, title. And uh, I'm making a heading with the H1 size. H1 level that is uh, LED mm -hmm. control. And uh, here we I have created two buttons, button one and button two. So mm -hmm. one button name is LED on and the second button is LED off. So LED on, whenever we click on LED on, that will go to a reference space slash on. And when we click on LED off, that will go to a reference space slash off. So here we are using anchor command to read the slash on page and slash off Page. And whenever these messages are sent to web page, the HTTP GET method will receive the request. And uh, that HTTP request uh, is mapped here and they will be checked here using request.index of uh, method. And next, uh, and these HTML pages are transferred through client uh, functions. Now, now let us uh, compile the code to check the local IP address so that uh, it's very important to get the local IP address in order to connect our uh, web page. So after getting the local IP address, we have to paste that local IP address on the web page URL. So through which we can control our LED. Let's wait for the output. Your uh, compilation is successful. Now let us uh, embed the code onto Node MCU. And uh, during the process, you can check the status here. 7%, 15%, it's uploading to the code. Uploading to the Node MCU, 76%. Percent 84 92 100%. And let us see the status. Yeah, Wi Fi connected showing three, and we got some IP address. So, IP address copy this and now paste it in the browser. have pasted it in the browser. And now you can check this. We have our title LED control and the heading centered with the H1 level. And we have two buttons, LED on and the LED off. Okay. And you can see that IP address without any request pages. Now I'm requesting the page which is linked uh, with the on this, so I have uh, linked it with the anchor command a h reference. And when I click on LED off, then slash off page will be requested. And now you can see when I click on LED on, the page will be going to on page slash on. So the HTTP get method will get this request. Okay, so it is not started, so it's not connected. So let's refresh the page and see the LED glow. See the LED is on, isn't it? So now for when I click on LED off, just running. Anchor page uh, will request uh, will go will take us to slash off page and HTTP get method will receive this slash off request using request dot index of a command. Okay, in this way we can control the LED on off operation. So in this way we can 
control our home appliances through local host. So that's all for today's class. Thank you. Have a nice day.